You got a bite. <laughs> what, what, what do I do? Ben, what, what do I do? Pull that sucker in, Mama. That's your dinner. It's too strong. Fucking help me, Ben. It's too strong. Hey, if you want to eat, you'll pull it in yourself. I caught my dinner. Your sisters caught theirs. This is part of your education. You don't bring it in, you don't eat. What are you watching? Just a video from a fishing trip. It was on Ben's phone. Anyways, um, I'm starving. Can we eat something? Oh, yeah, I, I, um, yeah, I just got some groceries. I'll make something at home. Could I see the video? Excuse me? You said it was a, a fishing trip? Where'd you go? Uh, yeah, it was a while ago. I don't really remember. It was with Ben? Yeah. But you don't remember where- Sorry, you're... when did you get so fucking nosy? <laughs> Sorry, I... I think you can imagine there are a lot of questions I right. have. Well, maybe it's better for everybody if you don't have them. Or maybe it's just better for you. <sighs> you can't really expect to float back into my life like a ghost and pretend like everything's normal. I mean, that can't be what you expected coming here. But since we can't actually talk about it or I can't ask you anything really, I'm just left wondering what the fuck you are doing here. I know how people see him. How you see him. And besides telling you that you're wrong, I don't really know what else I can say. You believe whatever you want. And anything I show you from my life now will just fit into whatever narrative you built up in your mind about us to justify your feeling of abandonment. My, my narrative of abandonment? Are you kidding me? You don't get it because you don't want to. Oh, Danny, you could not be more wrong. I <laughs> want to get it. That's all I've ever wanted. The difference is you've never even tried to explain anything to me. I mean, how could I understand why you left? You've never told me. I couldn't. You couldn't or, or Ben didn't want you it to? It was not like that. And how was it, Danny? We knew this is how people like you would take it. Mm -hmm. People like me? You mean your, your, your friends and your family? People who didn't understand what I needed. People who did not take my illness seriously. I was sick. And everyone here wanted me to stay sick. And Ben was the only one who knew I could transform into a balanced and spiritual being. What do you mean, sick? The existential disease that felt like it was killing me, Rebecca. There were so many negative entities attached to my consciousness, I couldn't even tell what was real anymore. <gasps> what? Uh, see, <laughs> I just, I really didn't want to get into this with you. I know you don't see the world like me. And for a really long time, I was mad at you for that. But through a lot of self-work, I realize that that isn't your fault. No more than what I see is my fault. We are different spiritual beings with different fights ahead oh, of us. Oh, God, you sound like him. Oh, yeah? How would you know? Does he not let you on the internet? We have access to it when we need it. Well, I suggest you Google your guru one day. I mean, that's all it took for your dad. This is exactly what I mean. You just do not have the capacity to understand, and he was not willing to live the life I that he needed. I would have the capacity to tell you that joining some cult a week after your 18th birthday is a little... Can you start the little... fucking car and roll the window down so I can get some air? I feel like a suffocating dog. Look. I am happy to see you, Rebecca. I missed you. But there are things about my life and the choices I've made that might never make sense to you. I wish they could. I actually think that you would be happier if they did. But I didn't have a choice. I needed help. 
And I still do. Ben is the only person who ever figured out how to. Then tell me how to then. Let me help you. If there's a way, just it can't be out living in the woods with a bunch of freaks. <laughs> and maybe we can help you now. Maybe. Well, how about I start by by feeding you? <laughs> I am starving. Yeah. Yeah, I know you got that hungry sass. Give me your brain. <laughs> 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 oh. Okay. Okay, feed me. Sounds like a plan. Can I put on the radio? We don't have one. Yeah, of course. Is that him? Yeah, uh, just checking in. <sighs> you know, for someone so spiritually enlightened, he's really bad at texting. <laughs> What's it like to be around someone like that? I mean, what did, what did you say, spiritually enlightened? Would you say it feels different than being around anyone else? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, definitely different. It's hard to explain, you know, there's this expansiveness to his presence. It can be totally overwhelming and transcendent all at once. What you mean, you like, you, you transcend just being around him? Sometimes. If that's the experience you need, yeah, it's happened. He has the most incredible, very blue eyes. And when, when we do a lot of staring meditation, you can feel this expanding inside yourself. Like floods of joy and, and of love and and the power. Does he say anything? Not in those sessions. Those are just about silence. He does talk in our talk sessions. But yeah, it feels different for sure. Wow, that sounds incredible. In, I, I guess, eight years. <laughs> Turn it up, it's on the radio all the time. Really? Yeah. Mm. You showed me this song. I know. I remember. I didn't know if you'd love it or hate it. <laughs>
Gaslight stars Chloe Grace Moretz as Danny, Kelsey Asbill as Rebecca, and John Gallagher Jr. as Ben. Written and directed by Miles Joris Payrafi. Produced by Q Code and Chloe Grace Moretz. Executive producer Phil Wurzel. Sound design and mix by Mike Frank. Original score by Patrick Higgins and Miles Joris Payrafi. Recorded and mastered by Salt Audio. Edit and additional engineering by Zach Jurich. Associate producer Tess Ryan. Script supervisor Sam Beasley. Production support provided by Alexandria Nichols and James Gelberg. Casting by Chelsea Block and Marisol Ron Kelly at Atomic Honey. Featuring original song Shadow People. Written and performed by Dr. Dog. Main theme Rain Song. Written and performed by Kirst. Art by Tomer Hanuka. Special thanks to Jeff Roy. If you're a fan, please subscribe and share this podcast with your friends. You can listen to Gaslight on Apple Podcasts or wherever you find your podcasts.